My name is Haley Daniel. Um, I'm currently an undergraduate student at the University of Maryland College Park. I'm studying aerospace engineering. And as you can probably tell, my focus is really on space. So for today, I have the privilege to inform you about five space fellowship programs that have changed the lives of many undergraduate and graduate students, people like myself who came in with a dream and now we're seeing it become a reality. It's something that I believe a lot of people can benefit from and something that I believe everyone should be aware of, especially because of the bigger picture behind some of the programs. So a little bit about myself. In high school, actually, my main focus was track and field. That was the thing, once class was over, that's where I was at on the track. No matter how long the workouts will take, I'll always be there, because that's something that helped me grow as a person, something that helped me become the, you know, who I am today. It helped me develop some important soft skills that are actually very applicable to the career today. The thing is, over the summertime, I also was a volunteer with the camp as a camp counselor at a local camp. And these are the, really the main two things that were you know, my entire focus in high school. So when I came to college my sophomore year at UMD, I received an email from the department, which believe it or not, I read the emails. And at the bottom of it was a little uh, blurb about scholarships and fellowship programs available. And there was a little talk about the Patty Gray Smith Fellowship Program a program that is an educational program dedicated to bringing or hiring um, undergraduate African-American students who are seeking their first internship within the aerospace industry. And this is like a bullseye for me. Like that is literally the sky what I was looking for and who I am. Now, of course, as you can imagine, nothing is guaranteed. I just like everyone else, I had to put my application, put my letter of recommendations, my resume. I took a lot of time and effort into the application. And it was very difficult for me because as I mentioned before, I don't have much of a technical background. Um, my brothers, I have three of them actually, but none of them are engineers. There's no one in my close circle that was even an aerospace engineer. So I came in blind, and for everyone in my family, it was really a learning curve for all of us. So when I came to the application, I said, hey, now I'm going to come in, I'm going to focus on my passion. That's the best thing I can do. So my passion, as I said in the application, is that I wanted to be someone who's going to help humanity explore the unknown. I want to help inspire the people around me and become a symbol of, symbol of hope so that if they look on my path, they too can be inspired to change their dreams. And just like everyone else, I too want to be an astronaut and maybe the first Ethiopian astronaut. But if I can't be the astronaut, that wants to help someone else become an astronaut instead. I want to help well, somebody somehow just want to be a part of the space industry. And that's exactly what I focus on throughout all my interviews. And by the grace of God, it worked out. Because as of, as of January 2021, I became a member of the Patty Gray Smith Fellowship Program. And this program, I say again, it changed my life forever. Myself and 41 other students who were part of the first class of the program, we had the opportunity to receive many benefits. Benefits including a host company, which meant a secure internship. We had peer mentors and executive mentors. And we had a summit, which was basically like a mini conference just for the fellowship program. From my personal experience, I had the opportunity to work at ABL Space Systems as a launch and test intern. And as you see in the desert, that's actually like my second half of my internship. I basically lived over there in the Mojave Desert. Um, in the picture you see the hot fire of the engine, I got to see that live, like from a distance, of course, but I got to see it live. And it's crazy how, you know, one summer during COVID, right, I was stuck at home, just going on runs in the neighborhood. The next summer, being out in Cali on the other side of the world, it's remarkable. And the opportunities that come from this, from this experience itself, is truly unlimited. Because of my experience at ABL Space Systems, it helped me land an internship with Boeing in this past summer um, down in Huntsville, Alabama, which is actually nicknamed uh, Rocky City, which was, as you can imagine for me, was you know, a lifetime dream. Because of my experience from the fellowship program, I had the opportunity to go to speak at the Space Vision 2022 conference that was hosted in University of Chicago this past, uh, back in November. And probably the biggest accomplishment, which I don't know how I'm going to achieve this, I don't know, I don't know how I'm going to do better than this one, but the biggest accomplishment was that I, and myself and two other fellows, we received a personal invite from Lori Garber, uh, the former NASA Deputy Administrator. And we received an invite to attend the White House for a uh, Space Medal of Honor ceremony. And not only did we get to go in the White House, I got to be in the same room as Kamala Harris, who was giving a speech during the ceremony. And the, probably the, the biggest thing of all is the fact that during her speech, she went out of her way to name drop all three of us 
during his speech and to basically congratulate us for our past, for what we've done, and just give us acknowledgement. And that was just, you know, mind boggling, right? Like, the vice president said my name. I don't know how, like, I, that's just, I'm telling my kids that forever, you know? Um, it's crazy to think about. And, and the best thing for me was that when I came home, my parents boy, had the opportunity to watch the whole thing live. And my mother was just there in the you know, tears of joy because her youngest child was going out and chasing his dreams. And my parents, who immigrated from Ethiopia, have fought hard for me and my brothers to get what we have, get what we have today. Without them, I don't know where I'll be. And fortunately for me, they're actually here in the audience, out in front. So it's just remarkable what they've done for us to accomplish this. <laughs> yeah. But with that being said, I still, as you can imagine, I, always, I still wanted to you know, push my boundaries. I wanted to expand my horizon, to meet new people, to be involved in the industry as much as I can. So with that, so with that I looked into another uh, space fellowship program called the Matthew Zakis Fellowship Program. This one is a little more included because this is only for people within, who are juniors, seniors, or graduate students uh, that have a previous internship experience within the industry. But once again, it's another opportunity for me to receive similar benefits of having a mentor, of having another networking, having a community that can support me and help me push me towards my dreams. So with that being said, I applied, I went to the interviews, and by grace of God, January, January 2023, I became the official Matthew Zarkis Fellow. And because of that, I'll have the opportunity to now work at Blue Origin this summer in Kent, Washington as a test engineer. And my executive mentor from this program is none, none other than Charlie Bolden, the uh, former NASA the, um, administrator, also a former astronaut, very talented man. It's just a very humbling experience to be a part of such a wonderful, like just remarkable people that I will have the opportunity to meet soon in person. And just like this before, I'll have the opportunity to be in LA this summer for our summit. We'll have uh, tours around different companies like SpaceX, Rocket Lab. We'll have uh, panels with CEOs, panels with astronauts. Anything you can think of is, is unbelievable. Um, it's hard to even say how much this program has done for me because it's just like, it, seems, it doesn't seem to stop, which is something that I is always grateful for. But these aren't, there's also other options too for other people based off your qualifications. So the one program that I wanted to give a highlight to is the Book Owners Fellowship Program. It's a program focused on helping you know, div uh, make the aerospace industry more diverse by hiring women and gender minorities. And something that, just like the Patty Gray Smith Fellowship Program, you know, is something that we'll, we will fight for something bigger than ourselves. We're trying to help make, fight, help fight a problem that has always been around for a while, but not many people are taking a step to actually take action for it. And these, all these programs are here to help give undergraduate and graduate students a chance to explore their dreams, to go after them, even if it's not space related. There are aviation companies too that you can work for. It's truly unlimited. And anyone can tell you that in order to be successful in life, you need to have mentors, you need to have a network, you need to have a community, you need to have people who have your back. And this is what exactly the programs offer. It's more than just an internship. It's about the community and people who you're surrounded by. So with that being said, um, if anyone have any questions about the fellowship program, feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn, email me. I'll do anything I can to help you out. And this, we also have some other fellows in this the crowd too who can help you out. But overall, I want to say thank you again for SGX for having me up here. It's truly a privilege to be up here and talk about these fellowship programs. And I hope that either yourself can apply or someone may know may apply. So thank you. Mm -hmm.